What's up everybody? Today is April 19, 2020. Um, currently gonna head up to a spot that I haven't really fished in a while, but uh, I know that there's been stripers around. Um, one of the problems though that we've been facing down here, and I, I'm sure if you fish in the area I'm at or around this east coast, it's been a wind fest all April. I mean, uh, today's wind is, you know, fishable right now it's like 15 miles per hour but it's supposed to kick up to the 30s as the day goes on so um might start out a little calm but as we fish today i know it's going to be pretty uh windy uh so hoping we can find some fish uh one of the issues when we have high winds like this over a you know a span of time the water seems to get churned up um and it you know where I want to go on a good day you could see bottom on like three four feet of water on a you know day like today it's probably gonna look like chocolate milk um, but hopefully when we get to the spot it's not as bad as I'm, I'm thinking it's gonna be but who knows so uh, we're gonna be targeting striper uh, striped bass today uh, just gonna keep it simple I got my you know high low and triple hook rigs to try with uh, just live blood worm so stay tuned all right, just a quick rundown. Uh, got my two, you know, medium light rods uh, that I'm going to be trying first with, you know, <clears throat> the famous high low triple hook rig. Uh, bait I'm going to be using is going to be blood worms. Uh, and yes, I did remember to bring my tackle box this time. Didn't make that bonehead move, you know, twice in a row. So let's uh, get the rest of the stuff in the truck and uh, head on up to the first spot. Yeah, we got a little bit of time today. I mean, the wind is really howling. It's, uh, I mean, the water is dirty as can be, which typically doesn't bode well for fishing down where I'm at. Um, in fact, where I'm shooting is actually about a foot deep, and I don't even know if you could really even see bottom. I mean, I could see seaweed, but barely. So hopefully we get a few fish today, so stay tuned. All right, so I just got to spot number one. Uh, fortunately, I'm the only one here, thank God, which is pretty cool because I can fish, you know, how I want to. Um, water's very dirty. I don't know if you could really tell, but, I mean, usually it's not this dirty. It is an outgoing tide right now, so I'm hoping this water clarity doesn't, you know, screw up the bite. But stay tuned. Let's get a rod in the water. All right, so we're just going to be using blood worms. Um, there's other ways to catch these stripers, but to be honest with you, um, I have blood worms that I bought, I went out and splurged, and I want to use them before they go bad. You only want to put enough on to fill the hook up. If you put too much on, they just rip it right off. But let's get this bad boy out there. Let me just get my line untangled. Let's take that first cast of the day. Oh, Jesus Christ. Somehow I always get my line tangled up before the first cast. I don't know how, but I guess it's just being excited to be out fishing, so let's get it out there. Nice. Let's let it sit, see how long it takes to hit on this rod so far. Doesn't look substantial yet. Fish on, let's go. First fish of the day, baby. Man, I didn't even get to I didn't even get to get my other rod rigged up. Doesn't feel like a striper though. If it is, it's it's not a big one. I think it feels like a perch the way it's fighting. Who knows? Could be a sm really small striper. Yep. Let's go. First fish of the day is a small striper. Hell yeah, brother. Now, I, I literally was about to rig up the other rod, and I just saw this thing dancing. Now, that is a very tiny striper. I, I would say this guy's maybe nine ten inches at best but nonetheless man is a beautiful fish all right we're gonna bait up the second rod now where i'm fishing i would have loved to be here about three hours ago honestly um when the tide was just switching because once the tide is ripping at this uh, particular spot 
I do know it's hard to hold bottom. Right now I'm holding with uh, two ounces, but I really don't like fishing that much, especially on these light rods. I mean, they're, you know, one's a medium. I'm pretty sure they're actually both medium light rods and, you know, they really aren't built to hold more than two ounces. Now I just deployed the second rod and I'll probably go to one rod if the bite picks up. I mean, we've already had our first fish in a matter of minutes. So if it turns into one of those days where every cast, as soon as it hits bomb, you're getting a fish, I'm going to fish one. But the reason I have two right now, the one to the right is fishing shallow. The one to the left is fishing deep. And it's about a six foot difference of uh, depth. In fact, it looks like we're already getting a hit on the one that's in the shallower. So I, I kind of wanted to see where these fish are sitting right now. <clears throat> now I'm gonna be honest with you I the other night I literally made a list of all potential spots I could be fishing near me and literally I had to cross out let more than 50% of them due to them being like areas that have been shut down so I am trying to produce you uh, different species and more content but I'm being honest with you it is getting difficult um, just because of all the restrictions that there are so I mean, if it seems like I'm doing a lot of striper, perch, and catfish videos, I mean, I'm trying to do what I'm, you know, legally allowed to do. So, you know, once they start lifting these bands, I'll be able to get out and do a lot more. Again, a little hit, nothing crazy. Let's see if reeling some of that slack. Maybe it'll come back. <laughs> starting to think they were they were gone a hey, little guy little rat Whatever. but you know it's a fish right <laughs> man yeah that's hope all right let him go all right, we're gonna get this bait back out where it needs to be. There we get fish on. Something like it grabbed a piece of it. Look at that. Nah, it's got like little bite marks on one side. Yeah, it does. Might have been the seal. <laughs> Look for a snack. Yep. Now, if I'm being honest with you, um, I have bunker, clams, a bunch of other soft plastics, but uh, for this particular spot, I mean, everybody's got their own thing. Stripers are not picky, um, but what I do realize is that in this early spring run that a lot of the schoolies are around right now. The bigger ones are on their way, but uh, they they love bloodworms. And I think part of it is when they're coming and making these runs, they're feeding on the sandworms that are, oh, we're getting a hit right there. They're feeding on the sandworms that come out of the mud. So they look very similar, and I think that's why I've had a lot of success with bloodworms as of late. Now, what's real interesting that I learned the other day when just, you know, reading is that uh, female stripers actually aren't really mature enough to spawn until they hit year uh, four. Now, males apparently can start spawning at age two and three, which is kind of interesting. But, uh, you know, just a little fun fact for you about striper spawns. All right, it's been about 15 minutes since our last bite. Um, I do have the surf rods in the car. I think I'm going to switch into my waders and head to a spot with a little less wind. I mean, the wind is kicking up right now, so stay tuned. I think we're going to make the move. All right, so we just got back to the truck. Uh, as you could tell, kind of living in my truck currently. I have two surf rods, two uh, ultralights, and I got the rods I was just using uh, in the back of the truck. What I'm going to end up doing is throwing my waders on, um, throwing a triple hook rig on this uh, eight, 
eight or nine foot surf rod um, just so I could get the bait where it needs to be. Um, only have about 10 minutes to fish, so I'll be happy if we, you know, get a hit or something. So stay tuned. Let's see if we can't find them. Apparently the month of April has been, apparently, uh, I guess the month of wind. Right now we got steady 20 mile per hour west northwest winds but we ain't gonna let it stop us from catching fish so if you've been following the channel you know that uh, where I live has been practically shut down for fishing pretty much every spot from you know the beach so you have to find your own beaches so what I'm doing right now wading out into this little spot uh, we traveled very light. Just brought two rod holders, two rods, and a bag of blowworms. Now the water is dirty as can be. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. It, the visibility is pretty poor, but that's because we had three straight days of sustained winds at 15 or more miles per hour. So I kind of was expecting the water to be dirty, but fish that I'm targeting typically, you know, are pretty good feeders in this type of water, so I'm not too discouraged. Uh, if I start running into a lot of seaweed, that's going to be a problem, but we'll see what happens. I'll be honest with you, these conditions are far from ideal. I mean, <clears throat> it is absolutely brutal out right now, but uh, we're not going to let that affect fishing. Cast that sucker out there. All right, we're gonna let it sit and see what happens. Now, what I have right now is both my rods are staggered. Um, <clears throat> one's fishing as shallow as, you know, five feet. The other one is in about 10. So, be curious to see where we get hits from. Now, I came to this spot specifically because of the wind. <clears throat> the wind's blowing from left to right, if you're uh, looking at the video. I was hoping that this uh, structure to my left was going to give me a little bit of a break from the wind, but it really isn't. I mean, it just goes to show how strong the wind is right now. Because, I mean, I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell from a, a GoPro, but it, it's whipping now. Let's go. Oh, I swung and I missed. Oh. How'd I miss that? Oh my lord. I can't believe I just missed that fish. Well, I got too uh, too excited on that last hit. Swung and I missed, so walking her back out. We're gonna get her back out in that honey hole. Hopefully. fish let's go let's freaking go baby 20 mile per hour winds ain't stopping me man let's go man i was starting to think that skunk was coming man i ain't been skunked in a long time it ain't big whatever it is it feels like a striper but oh yeah oh yeah Mr. Striper, whoa, whoa, not done fighting. Let's go. Bring you over to my rod holder, buddy. All right, so let's get this guy off the hook. Not a keeper by any means, but man, I could thank this striper for allowing me not to be skunked today just goes to show you man persistence pays off i've been fishing for about 15 minutes i lost one uh but we're gonna let this guy go he's served us well and off he goes all right well 
I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, fishing was a little slow, to be honest with you. Um, but, you know, a bad day on the water beats a good day at work, right? So I can't complain there. Um, and I can't complain that I was able to get fish in those windy conditions. So uh, please stay tuned because I am going to have some more videos coming out. Once they start uh, easing the restrictions of like some of the areas I'd like to fish, you'll start seeing a lot more um, different content, but stay tuned for that. Also, uh, as I left my house this morning, I had 982 subscribers. Um, you know, I'm very close to 1K, and like I promised earlier, if uh, we get to 1K, we're gonna have a giveaway, so stay tuned for that. Um, as always, if you like the video, drop a comment down below. If you're not a subscriber, please help me out. I'm almost there. Uh, I promise you won't regret it. But have a great day.